These little Samsung phones are kind of neat. Um, one of the reasons why they are is because you see them in stores for five bucks and you're tempted to buy them even though you have a good phone yourself. These can be used as media players. They don't have to be activated so you can put videos, pictures, music, stuff like that on it. Now this one here um, I was able to put a 110 minute video on this one in 3GP format and I'll show you uh, all the details later in the video. But what I wanted to tell you guys is that uh, even though say this doesn't have an SD card, what's interesting is it does give you a little bit of memory which is about 80 megabytes of usable storage. So even without an SD card you can still put video on it if you compress your video small enough. And here's a documentary I want to show you that I put on here. 87 megabytes. And I got it in standard view. Okay, that's standard view, but you can go to landscape view too if you want. So 110 minute video on this thing. And what's cool about it is if you have like, say like a wedding or you want to film like your dogs or something or any kind of video you can think of, you could pack this thing with a video and you can send it as a gift to somebody because it's only five bucks and it comes with a charger. So that's another way you can use cell phones. You don't have to use them as phones. You can use them as just media players. And that's why you have the death of the media player because phones pretty much do everything that the little media players were doing. And they work just as good. As a matter of fact, if you look for little media players in the store, Sometimes they could be incredibly expensive, like $40, $50 for a small media player about this big. So um, that's where phones come in. Phones are able to play many different formats. This one plays 3GP, but like an Android, for instance, you can find them for under 20 bucks, and they can play just about any format you can think of with VLC. So let me give you a, a sample of the audio. Now, if you keep this plugged in, you're going to be able to watch it while it's plugged in. So that's the good news, too. So if you wanted to put cartoons on here, 110 minutes of them or whatever you want. Now, to make this fit, I had to drop the video bitrate down quite a bit. The video bitrate was originally 100 kilobits per second, and I dropped it down to about 47. Now that was the only way I could squeeze the file on here. But still, you have to admit, 110 minute video is fitting on a $5 device. 10, 20 years ago, they would, they would have said you were crazy to, to be able to watch a movie on something in your hand that has its own power for five bucks. It would be, they wouldn't believe you. But we have that technology today. So you got a wedding or something, you could put like a wedding video on here or a graduation video and you could buy a whole bunch of these and just send them to everybody and tell them not to use it as a phone they don't have to activate it they can just play the memories of the photos the videos and the audio in the in this phone here you could pack some files in here so I thought I'd let you guys know that and uh, I'll have some details for you at the end of the video here so thank you for watching Okay, one more thing. I wanted to show you some high quality video here uh, from a file that I didn't have to compress too much, but I made it into high quality 3GP video. It's uh, the Sweet Pea trailer. So I want to show you that. Let me shut off the light here. Let me go to landscape view. And 
And I'm recording on my Android phone right now, which is 720, so I just wanted to give you guys a little sample. I could switch it to 1080, but uh, just from looking through my phone here, I can tell that the quality is really good. So it goes to show you can have a small video with good quality if you have a high-quality video source, and that's where this came from. This one came from a very high quality 720 uh, source. So that's the reason why you get good quality on 3GP format. The other one came from YouTube, so the quality was less. Um, but uh, sometimes you have to reduce the video quality to squeeze it on one of these. And since it's only a $5 phone, it doesn't have an SD card. Now, if it had an SD card, you could do wonders with it. But what do you expect, though, for 5 bucks? It's just kind of a toy I play with. So, but I wanted to show that to you guys.